Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I do have a tutorial on how I got this cut crease right here. Um, it's a super simple, easy way that you guys can achieve a cut crease. I'm just showing you guys my way on how I get a cut crease. Um, for me, cut creases were super hard and to this day they still are hard, like I still have troubles, but I decided to show you guys how I create created my cut crease and see if this can be helpful for you guys. Trust me, you're not going to get a cut crease maybe on the first try, but if you do, you know, props to you because I struggled on finding a way to make it simple for me. And so now I feel like I have a, you know, simple way of how to get a cut crease. So yeah, that's what I decided to create for you guys. Um, I did pair with some dramatic lashes so you guys can see that it's a simple cut crease, but if you add some dramatic lashes, you can always look glam. So I really hope you guys enjoy this and find it super helpful. If you do, don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button for future videos. Um, follow me on my social medias, I have them all done in the description box. Um, but yeah, if you guys would like to know how I got my cut crease, then just keep on watching. Alright you guys, so as you guys can see, I already have one eye done. I just wanted to get it out of the way just so the video is not super long. So we're just going to go ahead and get started with this eye. So I already primed it. Now I just have to go and set it. So today I'm going to be taking my Tarty, my Tardis Pro um, palette from Tarte. And I'm just going to take this fluffy brush. Grab this light color over here. Just like a vanilla E color. And I'm just going to go ahead and use that to set my base. So now I'm going to take a transition color for that. I'm going to take this one down here. It's a very um, light brown color. It's called Bold and I'm just going to take the same fluffy brush and I'm going to blend that into my crease. So once you have your transition color um, nice and blended out, I'm going to switch to this brush right here. It's a small fluffy brush not like the other one that we just used it's smaller and this is like good for blending out um, lines as well so I'm gonna take this color right here this is called edgy and as you guys can see it's a darker brown than our transition color so I'm gonna take this and apply that right into my crease as well and I'm gonna make sure I blend this out very nice and then again flick it outward like I did with my transition color and I'm taking a very light hand with this. Um, like I don't want it to be like super dark and then not be able to blend it out. So just start off very lightly, very light pressure. Um, make sure you blend it out and then that way you can um, keep adding more if you need to. And then very quickly, I'm just going to take my fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend out this harsh line that I have up here. So then next, I'm switching brushes again. And then this time I'm going to take this very small, thin brush. It's kind of like a pencil brush. Um, I like this one because you can really get into your crease like that. Um, and then this is going to be this is going to be used with the color that we are going to cut the crease with. So I'm going to take the black color in the palette. It is called Punk, and with this a small brush. So again, with this color, be super super light. You don't want to um, get like a very harsh line at first. You want to make sure you start out super light, and then again, like if you need to add more, that way you can add more without having so much color on there and creating a lot of harsh lines so just make sure you start out super light handed um that's the trick with um cut creases so like i said i'm going to start out super super light handed so i'm going to like kind of look so i have my mirror in front of me and i'm looking up that way like when i look in the mirror my eye is like i'm looking kind of down and that way you can have um the cut crease or you can see your crease all the way or what you guys can do is take like a small mirror and hold it down here that way you guys are looking down at it and you guys can see where exactly you want to place 
the cut crease and then also what I like to do is like look directly in the mirror and I can see where it starts to like crease so that's where I want to place the black color so I'm just gonna go ahead and create a dot That way I can have like an outline and then just start blending all that in. So now once I have that outline, I'm going to go in with some concealer. And I like to use like a very, very small brush for this. Um, and I'm going to clean up underneath that line that I created just so I can have a nice base and I can add my shimmery color onto my eyelid. You guys can see it's very nice and clean now on the eyelid so next for my shimmery color I'm gonna take this one right here this is called glam and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that with a small um, flat shader brush and I'm gonna pick up the same um, small brush that I used with the black eyeshadow and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some more of the black eyeshadow and just recreate that line once again this small fluffy brush I'm going to pick up very small amounts of the um, uh, brown eyeshadow and I'm going to blend out everything up be up above the black eyeshadow line so now I like how it looks right now so I'm just going to leave it as is and I'm going to move on to my eyeliner so for that, I'm going to take this Too Faced um, Black Liquid Art Eyeliner. And I'm just going to go ahead and create my usual wing and hopefully they come out the same. Alright guys, so very quickly I'm going to do my face makeup off camera just because I want to focus more on the eyes because um, I do want to focus more on this cut crease. So let me just do my makeup off camera and then I'll be right back to finish off the eyes. I am back and my face makeup is on and looking good. <laughs> um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and apply some lashes. Today I'm going to be taking these Vegas Nay Eyler lashes in Shining Star. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply those really quick. So now my lashes are on and now I'm going to move on to my um, bottom lash line. So I'm going to take a black eyeliner from my waterline. I'm taking my all time favorite, my Maybelline Precise Skinny Eyeliner and I'm just going to go ahead and apply that into my waterline. So then I'm going to take a small brush and I'm going to go in with the black eyeshadow and I'm just going to go ahead and go underneath my waterline. So then to blend out that line, I'm going to take this brown color right here and that one is called Edgy and then with a small brush, I'm just going to go ahead and blend all of that out. So next, I'm just going to go ahead and apply some mascara onto my bottom lashes. And I'm going to take this Maybelline, or Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Alright, so to highlight my inner corners and my brow bone, I'm going to take the same color that I applied on my eyelid, this one right here, and it is called Glam. So lastly for the lips, I'm going to take this ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip Color. This in the shade 0.0.
All right, you guys, so here is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial on how I get a cut crease. I try to make it super simple for you guys. This was the uh, simplest way that I know how to get cut crease. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Before you guys leave, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you everyone so much for watching. And until next time, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.